بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سوینٹس آف کلاس نائن ایڈ ایس یونٹ نمبر سیون دا ٹاپک آف دس لیسن ایز سلطان احمد مسجد دس ایز ایم موسک that is situated in Turkey and its name is Sultan Ahmed Masjid or Sultan Ahmed Mosque. This is in fact the history of this masjid. So now listen first paragraph. The Sultan Ahmed Masjid is one of the most impressive monuments in the world. It is also known as the Blue Masjid because of the blue tiles that embellish its interior. Situated in Istanbul, the largest city in Turkey and the capital of Ottoman Empire from 1453 to 1923. It has become the most popular tourist attraction. Okay, now listen again and underline some words. The Sultan Ahmed Masjid is one of the most impressive monument in the world. It is also known as Bilu Masjid. The other name of this masjid is Bilu Masjid because of the Bilu tiles that embellish its interior. Situated in Istanbul, the largest city of Turkey and the capital city of the German Empire from 1453 to 1923. It has become the most popular tourist attraction. Now look again. The Sultan Ahmed Masjid is one of the most impressive monuments. Impressive means remarkable, exciting. ایک شاندار کے سمدار قابل شوار مانومنٹس مانومنٹس میموریل یادگار ان دا وارڈ ایڈ ایس آلسو نون ایز ای بلو مسجد بیکاز آف دا بلو ٹائلز دیٹ ایمبیلش ایمبیلش مین دیٹ ڈیکوریٹ دیٹ بیوٹیفائی ایٹس انٹیریئر ایٹس انر سائٹ سیچویٹیڈ ان استنبول دس مسجد ایس سیچویٹیڈ ان استنبول دا لارجیس سیٹی ان ترکی and the capital of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire means khalafat e Usmania. That is famous khalafat uh, that is also called the Ottoman Empire. This Ottoman Empire was uh, from 1453 to 1923 in Turkey. It has become the most popular tourist attraction. Okay, it attracts Uh, tourist who visit Turkey. Right, okay, now next. It was constructed between 1609 and 1616, means in seven years, during the rule of Ahmed I. Ahmed I was uh, the first Ahmed. Uh, he was the ruler of uh, Ottoman Empire at that time. And during his rule, uh, this masjid was constructed. As was the custom, this masjid, like the other masjid of uh, the time, comprises a tomb of founder and a madrasa and a hospice. Okay, look again. It was constructed, it was built between 1609 and 1616 during the rule of Ahmed I. Rule of Ahmed I during the government of Ahmed I, reign of Ahmed I. As was the custom, tradition, this masjid like the other masjid of the time comprises, of, comprises a tomb of founder, a madrasa and a hospice. Like other masjid, This masjid also comprises, comprises mean consist of, mushtamil hai, shamil hai, a tomb of the founder. Tomb mean mausoleum or uh, gravestone, makbara jise kehte hai, kabar, makbara, 
इस मस्जिद के अंदर कबर मौजूद है किसकी ऑफ द फाउंडर एस्टेब्लिश यानी कि अहमद वन जिसने ये बनाई थी उसका उसकी कबर मौजूद है इसके अंदर द अदर थिंग इज अहमद रसा लाइक टूडे वी कैन सी विद मस्जिद विद एवरी मस्जिद ऑलमोस्ट नियर इज अहमद रसा फॉर रिलीजियस स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर वाज आल्सो अ हॉस्पिस हॉस्पिस इज इन और स्टेशन एक मेहमान सराय होता था इन अदर वर्ड्स यू कैन सी गेस्ट हाउस ये जो ट्रैवलर्स दूर से आते थे वो मस्जिद के मेहमान सराय में उस इन के अंदर स्टेशन में रुका करते थे पैराग्राफ नंबर थ्री द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द मस्जिद स्टार्टेड इन 1609 द रॉयल आर्किटेक्ट सिदफहर मेहमद आगा दिस इज नेम ऑफ आर्किटेक्ट इंजीनियर सिदफहर मेहमद आगा वाज अपॉइंटेड बाय द सुल्तान एज इन चार्ज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट द ओपनिंग सेरेमनी वाज हेल्ड इन 1616 Unfortunately, the Sultan could not see the completion of the masjid in his life. It was completed in the reign of successor, his successor Mustafa I. Okay. The construction of the masjid started in 1609. The royal, royal mean the imperial Shahi. दरबारी शाही एम्पीरियल आर्किटेक्ट आर्किटेक्ट मीन डिजाइनर प्लानर जो तामीर करने वाला मेहमान जिसे कहते हैं हिज नेम वॉज सदिफर मेहमद आवा ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड बाय सुल्तान अहमद एज इन चार्ज ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट ही वॉज इन चार्ज ऑफ दिस प्लान दिस मीन दिस प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मस्जिद The opening ceremony was held in 1616 but unfortunately the sultan in sultan ahmed i could not see the completion of the masjid in his life he died before 1616 so it was completed in the reign of his uh, successor mustafa i mustafa i was actually the brother of ahmed i and successor mean follower jan shin uske baad uska jan shin mustafa one thought so during his reign uh, during his government this masjid was completed next passage the blue masjid reflects the architectural style of both the ottoman masjid and byzantine church hagia sophia the masjid one of the wonders of the muslim architecture was also kept in view as model the blue masjid even today is considered to be unmatched in splendor majesty and size this and again i underline some difficult words the blue masjid reflects uh, the architectural style of both the ottoman masjid or and byzantine church Hagia Sophia a masjid this is a name of masjid one of the wonders of uh, the muslim architecture was also kept in view as a model the blue masjid even today is considered to be unmatched in splendor majesty and size right The blue masjid reflects means displays exhibits shows the architectural style of both the Ottoman masjid and Byzantine church it shows it displays the architectural style architectural mean art of construction okay matlab tamiri jo style tha tamirat ka jo andaaz tha isme do andaaz maujood hain अटोमन मस्जिद का अंदाज भी स्टाइल भी मौजूद है इसमें एंड बेजेंटाइन चर्च का भी तो बेजेंटाइन रोम को कहा जाते थे रोमी जो चर्च होते थे क्रिस्चियंस के इसमें इन दोनों का एक इम्तजाज है ये दोनों को शो करता है शो करती है ये मस्जिद हागिया सोफिया अ मस्जिद अ नेम ऑफ मस्जिद दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द वंडर्स मेरेकल वंडर्स अजूबा ऑफ द मुस्लिम आर्किटेक्चर 
was also kept in view as a model as a model hagia sophia ko bhi nazar mein rakha gaya usko bhi follow kiya gaya uski bhi copy ki gayi hai the bilu masjid even today is considered to be unmatched unique unmatched be misal shumar ki jati hai in splendor in glory splendor shan o shaukat majesty nobility greatness jaho jalal jise kaha jata hai and size or size may be this is very large uh, masjid the masjid has a spacious forecourt surrounded by a continuous vaulted arcade it has ablution facilities on the both on the both the sides uh, in the center there is a fountain uh, which is rather small in contrast with the magnitude of the courtyard a heavy iron chain is hung at the upper part of the court entrance at the western side this side was meant for the sultan alone the chain was put there so that the sultan had to lower his head every time he entered the court it was the symbolic it was the symbolic gesture to ensure the humility of the ruler in the face of the divine power okay the masjid has a spacious four court surrounded by continuous vaulted arcade it has ablution facilities on both the sides in the center there is a fountain which is rather small uh, in contrast with the magnitude of the courtyard a heavy iron chain is hung at the upper part of the court entrance at the western side this side was meant for the sultan alone the chain was put there so that the sultan had to lower his head every time he entered the court it was a symbolic gesture to ensure the humility of the ruler in the face of the divine power the masjid has a spacious four court spacious mean huge broad the ceo is four court four court is uh, like we say sahan masjid ka sahan jo ek bahut kushada hai surrounded and circled surrounded by a continuous vaulted arcade vaulted arcade this this uh, four court is surrounded and circled with a continuous vaulted arcade vaulted mean arched domed jisko mihrab bhi kehte hain mihrab ki shaklon wala arcade arcade is a gallery in a in simple jaise masajid mein baramda wagaira hota hai aur wo mihrab ki shakal mein uske bane hote hain se dum hote hain aur mihrab hote hain vaulted arcade that is called vaulted arcade mihrab bhi baramda ya mihrab bhi chhat ki hoti hai jiski us tarah ke sahan sare ye bana hua hai it has ablution facilities wuzu ki yahan pe so diya the on both the sides in the center of uh, this courtyard the sen ke darmiyan mein there is a fountain spring ek fawara hai which is rather small in contrast with the magnitude of the courtyard which is rather small rather mean a bit a little jo qadr hai kisi had tak chhota hai in contrast with the magnitude of the courtyard magnitude significance grandeur greatness जो इस कोर्ट यार्ड की शान शौकत या उसकी जो ग्रेटनेस है उसके मुकाबले में ये फाउंटेन जो है ये कदरे छोटा है स्मॉल साइज है अवी आयरन चेन इज हंग एट द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्ट एट द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्ट इससे यानी कि ऊपर वाले हिस्से में देर इज अवी आयरन चेन लोहे की एक जंजीर है दैट इज हंग जो लटकी हुई है एट द अपर पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्ट एंट्रेंस इस सहन के एंट्रेंस के ऊपर वाले हिस्से पे लटकी हुई है एट द वेस्टर्न साइड जो मगरबी तरफ जो हिस्सा है इसका वहाँ पर 
what is the purpose of this RN chain? Uh, this chain, this side was meant for Sultan Kandahar. This was meant, this was specified. Okay, ye khas thi, ye wali side for Sultan, Sultan ki thi. Sultan jab bhi aata tha, usne western side se aana aata tha, jaha pe zanjeev ratki hui thi. The chain was put there so that the Sultan had to lower his head every time he entered the court. The chain was put there so that the Sultan had to lower his head. Sultan jab bhi aaye, usko apna sar nicha karne pade, uh, he entered the court. Jab bhi wo court mein enter ho. Yani ki jab bhi wo masjid mein aana chahe aur sehen mein daakir ho, the chain ka maksad ye tha ke sar chuka ke maha se ji daakir ho. It was a symbolic gesture. Ye ek alamti nishan tha. Symbolic gesture, ek alamti nishan tha. Kis cheez ki alamat thi ye? To ensure, to make sure, to confirm the humility of the ruler, the modesty of the ruler. Ki jo baadshah hai, jo ruler hai, اس کی modesty, humility, اس کی آجزی اور اس کی انکساری کو شو کرنے کے لیے یہ ایک symbolic gesture تھا ایک علامت تھی کس کے سامنے آجزی کو شو کرنے کے لیے in the face of the divine power جو عظیم heavenly power ہے جو pure power ہے that is the power of Allah اس کے سامنے in the face اس کے سامنے آجزی کا اظہار کرنے کے لیے اپنے سر کو جھکا کیا ہے کہ this was a symbolic gesture for him ok now here is your homework for unit number 7 part 1 second part we will study in next lecture ok first exercise is write the meaning of the following words and use them into sentences by your own exercise number 2 and 3 number 2 is answer the following questions who started the construction of Blue Masjid and in whose reign was it completed? Number two, which architectural style is reflected in the Blue Masjid? Number three, what was the purpose of a heavy chain hung at the entrance of the court? Number three, find out the finite and non-finite verbs from today's lesson. 